an ideal monatomic gas is confined in a horizontal cylinder by a spring loaded piston as shown and in the options the various values of volumes and temperatures are given and we have to calculate the energy stored in the spring the change in internal energy but there has not been any mention of gas present here and how exactly you know the pressure volume and temperature parameter of this gas if at all it is present here are changing so with this given information we can only comment on the change in internal energy and that is if we look at the option b so we'll find that when final volume is double of initial and final temperature is 3 times of the initial temperature then we can calculate the change in internal energy and that is ncv delta t and we can calculate from the initial data because initially the pressure of the gas was p1 volume was v1 and temperature was t1 so if we put the values here we'll get delta u is equal to 3 p1 v1 a reaction is given as shown here and uh, the kinetic energy of these particles x and y are given and then we have to find which are these particles x and y and the kinetic energy of strontium and kinetic energy of xenon now if we calculate the q value of reaction we will find q is equal to kx plus ky plus kx e plus ksr we can also calculate q value by finding the difference in binding energy that is given 94 into 8.5 plus 140 into 8.5 minus 236 into 7.5 as it is given in the problem which turns out to be 219 mg now kx and ky it is given that they have the same kinetic energy that is uh, 2 mg so that leads us that sum of the kinetic energy of xenon and strontium is equal to 214 mg now we have to see in the options that in the options in in fact all the options the sum of this energy is equal to 214 mg but we know that a strontium being lighter particle will carry more energy at the same time x and y since they are carrying same kinetic energy they should be identical particle based on these information the best possible option